Say they give you two equations of lines and they ask you are they parallel, meaning that they don't cross, or are they perpendicular, meaning they cross at right angles, or are they neither, meaning they cross but not at a right angle. And the key to this is really to rewriting these equations in the y equals mx plus b form. Then the number that comes in front of or to the left of the x, that's your slope. If they have the same slope, they're parallel, and if they have opposite reciprocal slopes, then that means they're perpendicular. Otherwise, they're neither. So let's see if we can get right into this one. This one's already in the y equals mx plus b form. You can see y is by itself, and we know the slope is 3 halves. This one here at the top, though, we want to rearrange it to solve for y. So we're going to subtract 3x from both sides of the equation. So we have negative 2y equals negative 3x plus 6. We're going to divide everything by negative 2 because we want to get y by itself. And you can see we get y equals 3 halves x minus 3. So that number to the left or in front of the x is the slope. You can see these have the same slope, different y-intercepts. So they're going to be going up at the same rate and they're not going to cross. So these are going to be parallel lines. Okay, example two here, you can see the second equation is already in the slope intercept form of the line, the y equals mx plus b, and the slope is negative 5 halves, but we want to rearrange this top equation to solve for y. So let's do that by subtracting 2x from both sides. That's going to give us negative 5y equals negative 2x plus 20. We're going to divide everything by negative 5 to get y by itself, right? So we have y equals 2 fifths x minus 4. Okay, now when we look at the number to the left or in front of the x, that's the slope. And notice uh, these two slopes, they're opposite signs. This one's negative, this one's positive, And they're reciprocals of one another, meaning we flipped one of them over to get the other one. So that means that these two lines are perpendicular to one another. They form right angles or 90 degrees. Okay, and then the last example, we're going to rearrange both these equations to solve for y so we can examine the slope, put it into the slope-intercept form of the line. And so you can see we're getting, let's see, negative 3x plus 12. And if we divide both sides by 8, you want to divide everything by 8 to get the y by itself. Okay, so we have negative 3 eighths x plus, if we reduce that, that's 3 halves. And you can see here our slope is negative 3 eighths. For this one, we're going to get the y by itself by subtracting 2x from both sides of the equation. So we have negative y equals negative 2x plus 7. Divide everything by negative 1. And you can see that y equals 2x minus 7. So here you have a slope of 2. Here you have a slope of negative 3 eighths. They're not the same, meaning they're not parallel. And they're not opposite reciprocals of one another. So that means they're not perpendicular. So this would be, uh, these two lines would be neither. So I hope this helped you understand how to figure out whether lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Subscribe to the channel. Check out some more videos on Mario's Math Tutor YouTube channel. And I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.